Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Octopath Traveler walkthrough. Uh, so I'm actually going to start knocking out these other uh, characters that I haven't got yet. I uh, I think I'm going to start here with Cyrus. Um, this I mean the class itself is just amazing, and uh, and so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Uh, I've already been through this town, uh, which is obvious because I've, I believe I've stolen, I mean, I don't know if I've stolen literally everything, but, um, but yeah, I, I think I have, uh, or at least everything uh, for now. Uh, and what else was I going to say about this place? Man, I lost my train of thought. Um, dang it. Well, okay, let's just go. Let's just go uh, make a new friend. Yeah, my wife really. Yep. <laughs> I have uh, pretty ri much ripped off everything. Just, uh, just terrorizing the, terrorizing the place. Okay. All right, let's do it. Hmm. Yes. I think I know who stole that. Toy. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him, just to make sure we all understand one another. His name is Cyrus, and he is a scholar. This is Altstam, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is home to the Royal Academy, where many a scholar studies night and day to bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the great library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous theft. Certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit, Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in his shady, shadowy subterranean study. He will need wise allies on the path he has chosen. All right, let's take Cyrus along. Uh, I'm going to swap him out with... Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'm not. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to swap them out with Primrose. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really why, actually. God, I'm just so. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly here how I want to, how I want um, the rest of this to play out. Um, you know, my question is, do I, uh, you know, swap in some of these characters that are a little bit lower, or do I just go with, you know, three? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with three characters that are actually really powerful. Uh, and let's hear the beginning of this tale. And I should say, uh, in the last video there, I had stolen a, a like Forbidden Blade or something like that. I have changed my mind on it. I think it sucks. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's good for certain uh, characters, uh, but uh, it does give the enemy, unfortunately, a, uh, a physical attack buff, uh, which I do not like. Uh, so probably we'll be using that. But anyways, all right, so let's hear the beginning of this tale. I know that was so random, but I had just remembered And it. so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed. Our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. it was Hornberg? 
That is correct. Hornburg was ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlasdam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness! It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hello? Ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Uh, since today is your lucky day, you've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Ho 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 ho! Oh my my. Splendid! Finally, I can begin my research. The library is just outside the palace. I'd best make haste. for the library. Uh, I don't really know where the library is at. I guess it's not here. Oh. Hey, that's not the way I came down. <laughs> Professor Albright. <gasps> <laughs> oh, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? The truth of the matter is. In the spare of the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course! But of course, Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm-hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Fortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Yes, Professor, it will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. Very astute question, Your Highness. However, I feel that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornburg fell. Huh? I see a shame in that. The truth is... I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... Oh. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Let us continue the discussion another time. I apologize for keeping you, Professor. My apologies. With yeah. pleasure. No need for apologies, and it would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. Why, thank you. The lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Oh, Jesus, look at this one. Indeed. A most admirable philosophy, Your Highness. This land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. So I'm truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. <laughs> Far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Ah! Oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. Ah, oh, Therese. Hello there, Therese. Yes? Do you have a question for me? Do you have a me? question for me as well? No. I, I mean, no. Good day, Professor. Okay, I'm sensing a... Uh, Hello. Sen sensing a little something something. Uh, let's, uh, I have no idea. Is this the library? This must be the library. Yeah, here we are. Okay. It's me, Cyrus. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. Mm-hmm. When I heard that an original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. More on top of our collection than I am, just sign here. With with pleasure. Hmm. <laughs> mm, there's something amiss. For someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy, here we go, his handwriting's trash, huh? <laughs> we talk about books, you're as giddy as a school volcano. No, 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 not, uh, not where I was thinking this was going. Aha, when you put it that way, yes, much as a child is fascinated by a new toy. I'm totally by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. Oh, what a nerd. Nerd alert. I see. <laughs> Right, the expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. By the way, nothing wrong with being a nerd. It's a compliment around here. How odd. The tome is nowhere to be found. Well, that is odd. I'm going to return it to the wrong shelf. Hmm, not here either. An interesting so dilemma. Archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Wherever indeed. Professor Albright. Professor Albright, the headmaster would see you at once. <sighs> All the times to, oh well, might I ask of you a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing, huh? I'll be looking at it once, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. 
How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our spiritual archives. The knowledge housed in those tomes is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. But that goes against everything... Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The Headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait. There was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Ah, Enter. That's some kind of jerk. Uh, excuse me. What's the matter? Mm. Uh, um. It's about Professor Albright, sir. Uh oh. What's going on? Make for the library. Did I wait? I just did that. What are you talking about? Oh, this is the academy. Okay. So yeah, this is not the library. Okay, that makes sense. It's buildings, buildings with a lot of light. Okay, uh, let's go out this way. Here we are. Look at that. Can I help you? Ah, uh, Professor Albright. A moment of your time. Did you have any luck finding the tome? My apologies. I'm afraid not. Say it is not so. Well, this is most unfortunate. One might conclude that it had been stolen. Actually... The professor taking books out from these archives is strictly forbidden. As you know, the keys of the vault are entrusted only to a select few. Oh boy. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. A hole. An impregnable vault. A disappearing tome. It seems we have quite the mystery on our hands. And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholar in me says. Would you not agree? Hmm. If it had been stolen, I would say it's a job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go until you've cracked the case, as it were. Indeed! Ha! You can say that indeed. A habit I just can't seem to break. Once a 
puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. I see. Well, far be it for me to stand in your way. Must be tough being a genius. Leave it to me. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> I'll not deny it. Worry not. The tome will be back on the shelf before you can bat an eyelash. Take care. Right. Thanks. Best of luck in your search. Time to do some research. Did you just give the camera the finger? It looks like he's flicking us off. The game is afoot. Is this a, is this like a Sherlock reference? Hmm. Now, where to begin my search? I suppose I should inquire with Mercedes as to where the keys to the library are stored. The guard at the front door would know who has been frequenting the library lately, as might my few fellow scholars. And mayhap I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. Path actions. Utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Uh, Alright, so Cyrus can scrutinize and glean new knowledge from the townspeople. Okay, so let's scrutinize this fellow. Let's see now. All right, H41. Testimony, of course I've got a key to the archives, and no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes is all. But even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing the worthless tome anyway? Most intriguing. All right, so there's new knowledge. What's this? H30. Testimony, the key. Yeah, this is definitely a Sherlock feel. Uh, the key to the archives. Oh, I haven't got that, but I'm surprised someone stole it home considering what it's worth. I've gambling debts myself. So I understand the temptation. Russell's situation. Okay. Let's see now. We had Mr. Vaughn and the guard station outside should have a key to the library archives. Okay. So it's uh, it's the headmaster, right? Because he's a jerk, and it seems the king and queen of the academy's library. For any reason, Alice in this blah 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 blah. Even after she passed, she wishes to be by her husband's side, just like the relief of the king and queen. The king and the queen. New treasure is available somewhere. Does he have a leaf of the king and queen in the library? Well, this is the library. Okay, what's this? What's going on here? Oh, interesting. And what's up with this? A little boarded up area? You hiding something? Let's see now. I was in charge of protecting the king. This guard suffered a serious leg injury and was once or has since transferred to a calmer post inside the grounds. Now the energy the injury healed long ago. He hasn't mentioned it to anyone and enjoys the serenity of his new post. Oh, look at that. He's a vet. Well, here, now here's an item here. White soul stone. Well, that's kind of interesting. Alright, let's head on here. Royal Academy of Atlas Town. Here's this jerk. Hmm. So I'm getting, I'm getting the feeling that 
Those hints aren't exactly related to uh, to where the item is actually found at, right? Because I thought I could have sworn it said something about the Academy Library, or maybe maybe she was close to the Academy. Library? Yeah, maybe it wasn't supposed to be inside, but it was outside. But it was... All right, let's uh, let's have a check on this guy. Uh, you know full well I have a key to the special ar archives and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I've had no reason to pursue those tombs in quite some time. Well, in quite some time, eh? Right, so it's got a key, but the dust gathered on it suggests it hasn't been used lately. That should be all the information I need to solve the case. Well, I mean, so that, I mean, it could be the case that he stole it a long time ago. Russell and the librarian. But of course! There are two keys to the archives, one belonging to the headmaster and one of the guardsmen. Whose key was used to unlock the archives? Well, it could be the guards. I mean, it could be the headmaster's. Though. Again, I, my theory is that he stole it a long time ago. Headmaster's key is safely locked away in his office. Furthermore, it hasn't visited the archives today. On the other hand, the guard has been acting suspicious of late, and even sleeping while on active duty. Oh. I mean, otherwise, he could have stole the key from the guard... Right, the old uh, the headmaster, and then basically framed the guy. Be all too easy to test to lift the key off of this person. Yeah, I mean, could be, could be. So it is possible that the guard is our man. No, I don't think uh, so. Ah, no. He would have no motive. That's true. Culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the dump. Headmaster. Just to say, one of my colleagues. <clears throat> Headmaster. And most likely one has accrued a frightful gambling debt. Okay, possible too. Which means that... Put it all together and our villain is... Russell. Yes. Indubitably that shifty scholar Russell. Yes, I dare say my logic is foolproof. Well, not really. Shall we begin? Now all that reigns is to find our man and make him confess to the crime. I mean, the headmaster could still have the motive, and again, as I said, I mean, but they don't they don't tell us when it was stolen. Word it has it he's been doing this research underground these days. Ah, oh, look at there. Alright. Now then some I did some field work of my own. I've taken it upon myself to investigate this suspicious matter. Interested in coming along, are you? It seems you have quite the curious streak yourself. But of course, mysteries exist only to be solved. After all, it is of utmost importance to remember that. Ah, but there I go again. Don't let me talk your ear off, but I will be glad for your help. Let's get right to business then. No doubt we'll find Russell in his laboratory down below. Cyrus joined the party. All right, so I am going to save here, and uh, and we'll pick it up in the next one. So, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.